Hello, I'm Jennifer. Welcome to my channel. I'm a contemporary fiction writer based in London and I've got a really important question for you today. Do you believe in soulmates? My first book, One, is about finding the one in the modern world. And as I started writing about this topic, of, topic and writing about relationships, I really started delving deep into relationship dynamics and how we meet that perfect person for ourselves. And ultimately, the topic of soulmates came up. You know, everyone thinks so, the one, the soulmate. So I started researching this topic and, you know, the kind of narrative around it. And if you think a soulmate is, you know, all hearts and flowers, I've got a little bit of bad news for you. So the current sort of narrative on soulmates is that we have many soulmates, not just a romantic one. That, you know, a soulmate is someone who we've potentially spent past lives with um, in the past. Um, there is a very prominent um, expert on this called Dr. Brian Weiss. I will put his uh, links to his website beneath this one. He was the most skeptical person about this. He was He's a Harvard, I think, uh, trained psychiatrist. And in psychiatry, one of the methods that they, they have, I don't know if they're still using this, but they used very prominently in, in recent decades was regression. So they would regress someone through hypnosis back to a time of a traumatic event, you know, say five years old, often children suppress traumatic events, you know, because it's too difficult to deal with, but in order to access the event and to provide, you know, a, you know, a cure, medication or a therapy, you have to access the memory. So Dr. Weiss was doing this with one of his patients and not only did she go back to the age of five, but she went back to something like a couple of hundred years <laughs> previous so he was just like this is completely insane so he started doing lots and lots of research on past lives and you know soulmates and so he is literally one of the world's uh, authorities on this I know it's it's a challenging topic to grasp um if you're not spiritually minded or you rather stay in the present moment which is highly advisable um but I just think in terms of relationship dynamics it can add an extra layer of insight into why we meet the people that we meet and why relationships are not all hearts and flowers. I'll be talking more about this in, in the coming months, so please subscribe to this channel for more updates like this.